Hello, I'm Lizette, and in this video I'm going to show you something very special. Um, at first, as you can see, this is a PSP running version 6.20. As you can see, on due to the button shape, that this is indeed a PSP 3000. And if you still don't believe me, if I turn the PSP around, you can see it is not using a battery right now. It's only using the charger. The date code is 9A, and you can see here that it says it's a PSP 3004. So a European model of the PSP 3000. First, we're going to disconnect our power cable so it forcibly turns off the PSP and then we connect our baryon sweeper battery as you can see a cable comes out of the battery which is connected to my computer and on the computer we are running the baryon sweeper software which allows this PSP 3000 to boot into service mode what does this mean just think of it as using a Pedora battery on the PSP 3000 which like in the past allowed you to install the uh, a custom firmware or unbrick your PlayStation Portable. So we put the uh, battery into the PSP. As you can see it already turns on on its own. And voila, the old DDC version 8 menu. If you ever used a uh, Pandora battery in the past, you will know that this is the DDC version 8 menu and what does it do? It allows you to install the 5.00 M33 custom firmware, it allows you to install the 5.00 original firmware, it shows you some information about the hardware and the NAND operations are for restoring NAND issues or creating NAND dump. And test M33 allows you to boot the M33 custom firmware off of the memory stick without having to install it. So why am I showing this to you? Well, effectively, the 5.00 M33 custom firmware was never working on the PSP 3000 because you could not run it on the PSP 3000 due to a missing entry point. But now with this Baryon Sweeper, effectively a Pandora for the PlayStation Portable 3000, we can install the M33 custom firmware and we're going to do this. We do not need our Baryon Sweeper battery anymore since we're already booted into the servers mode. So I can just put normal battery back into the console, which is charged, and then we can close the battery lid as well. There we go. Now we just wait until the firmware is fully flashed, and then you will see that the legendary old 5.00 M33 custom firmware is running on the PlayStation Portable 3000. Obviously, we have modern custom firmware on the PSP, like the 6.60 ME custom firmware or the 6.60 Pro custom firmware. And thanks to Davies Infinity, those are permanent, even on 661 or 660. And you would not really need to run the old 5.00 M33 custom firmware anymore. But this is still some nice novelty thing. It is nice to see that this works. And since the M33 was never a thing on the PSP 3000 or newer, it is very, very cool to see this. And we're nearly done flashing the custom firmware onto this 3000. And now we press reboot and it should reboot into the M33 custom firmware. This is normal that this happens. If you downgrade from a higher version to a lower one, it usually corrupts the flash one. So it wipes certain settings such as date, time, background color, and so on. So it's not an issue. So you just have to reconfigure this and then everything is gonna be work fine. There we go. Now the sound is back. We have to configure something. Language English. Rest of the matter, and there we go. You can see the extra entry here is missing. On the 620, we had an extra entry. The sense me is missing. It's not here anymore, and you have the very old Go Messenger, something that is not existent on the six point whatever custom firmware anymore. And as you can see, 5.00 M336, the old legendary custom firmware on this PlayStation Portable 3000. And yes, this one is permanent. It works exactly like the old M33 custom firmware, 
It just has a different exploit for the custom IPL, since the original one did not work on the 3000 and newer devices, and this one does work. So if I do reset device, it restarts the PSP, and if you, for example, hold R, you can boot into the recovery menu, the old M33 recovery menu, very nice, and if I exit it, you will see that the custom firmware is still active, it still works, everything is working, and this is just great to see the very old M33 custom firmware on the new PSP 3000. Hope you enjoyed this uh, small presentation of the Barium Sweeper. I'm Zizad and hopefully see you soon.